everyone and welcome back to Little Gator Game. I'm Pen and I will be your host on this adventure. So, we I wonder which one could possibly have the triangles in it. Let's see. Smash them all. Looking for triangle paper. I love that they're, they're definitely very obvious just shapes that I'm supposed to be killing. Um, what? This dude wanted me to find a triangle piece of paper. Where is it? It's gonna be the last one I break. It's none of you. Okay. I guess we'll just keep smashing things until we find it. Get out of here. I'm assuming these ones weren't drawn by the same person, but that's fine. Just destroy them anyway. I just, just killed a child. Okay. Oh, he's on the on the mountain. Cute. <laughs> Is that all of them? Yep. All those ones anyway. Oh. Get out of here. Go away. Go away. All of you. Bugger off. Oh. Phew. Got him. Oh. What? Destroy! Destroy it! Make a mess! Ah. Oops. Well, uh, hello. Are you guys eating lunch? That looks really good. I guess. I don't really like mine. Mm, me either. Maybe we can give it to someone else. But I'm hungry. You should definitely eat something. Nutrition is important. But if you're going to give it away anyway, maybe you can give it to each other. I like a trade. That sounds perfect. Who wants mine? Oops. Um... Never fear, folks. The green hero shall solve this lunchtime puzzle. I'll talk to each of you and figure out which lunch would be best for which person. Oh, cool. Thank you. Okay, let's see. I like salty foods, but I only want a small snack. Uh, so you can have the chips. Yeah, those look good. Uh, let's see here. I want lots of food, please. Um, I'm really hungry. Lasagna? Yummy! I want to eat that whole dish. So then you? I like something light and healthy, please. Apple slices. Apple slices sounds great. I'd love that. I'm stuffed. I feel healthy and strong. I just... I got just what I wanted. Thank you, green hero. Happy to help. We should go do something at the playground now. Yeah, good idea. See you there. Uh, yay! I want to wait... It was she got that pretty crown. Yeah, it's cute. Oh. Oh, there's a couple of things here to get. And down. There we go. Destroy that. And then, wait, where did they go? There was stuff in the water. Wait, wasn't there stuff in the water? Am I misremembering? I thought there was stuff in the water. Huh. Oh, it was just stuff I yeeted into the water. I see. Okay, let's get up here. I used to be afraid of little jobs like this. Well, not anymore, I guess. Over this way. Let's try and get back up there, huh? What? Beach rock! I got a beach rock! I mean, enchanted ore. Uh, Suzanne can smith this into something cool. Maybe it will be a magic sword or an amulet? I can't wait to see! Well, I, I found a quest item. It's always fun. 
Okay, that's maybe a bit too tall for me to, to climb. That'll work, though. Let's destroy these monsters. Get them! Woo! Excellent. Now to continue figuring out how to get up. Pot. Bang. Okay. Oh, more things to destroy. Get out of here. Go away. Now where is this drop? Probably pretty rare. Our uh, last one down eats rocks for breakfast. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I like that. Half a cheese sandwich. Finally, I must have cleared out the whole forest for this yellow triangle. Not the kind I was expecting, but it must be what Jean wanted. Time to go trade up. Why? Why would you put your sandwich in here? Can I even get these things? Okay. Oh, I cannot see. Oh god. Oh, what the fuck? Oh wow, get it out. Um... What? Um, excuse me, could you please- Ow, could you please help me? There's something stuck in my blowhole. It's making it hard to breathe. Could you please climb out there and see what it is, please? Okay. Oh, it's a bowling ball. Ah! Okay, whoa. That feels better. Can I do that again? Whoa, nice. Okay. Oh, I'm in a tree. Do it again. Whee! <laughs> That's fun. Okay. I'm feeling much better now that you pulled that whatever it was out of me. Thank you. Did you go somewhere once you were done? The blowhole blasted me into space. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. It was awesome. Oh, well, um, if you ever want to do it again, feel free to climb up there. I don't mind. Okay. That was intense. Let's go again. Whee! I need to get back up here anyway. Um. So, I need to find a rhinoceros beetle, and I'm not sure where to look for that. Because I found the other two things over here. But I haven't... It said fallen trees. Hmm, I don't know. I'll have to keep looking. I got the ore. Great! The forge is hot and so is my smithing spirit. Set it here and we'll get started. Wow. What, is it a good rock? It looks like basalt. C4 basalt with veins of quartz. Basalt is perfect because it's easy to break down, easier to break down than granite, but heavier and more solid than pumice. Not to mention, the fault lines are superb. It should fracture into the shapes we want all on its own. Did you know that right around the time of the, paleo the Paleolithic animals evolved to walk upright, they would- Alright, yes, it's a good rock. Uh, sorry. Yes, it's really good rock and it has really cool lines, which of course means it's very magic. All we have to do is heat it up and apply pressure and that'll fracture. Pressure? Should I sit on it? I was thinking you hit it a bunch, you know, like a blacksmith. Oh, violence! I can do violence! Then have at it, hero! Hone your tool of violence into one of creation. Um, okay, I'm keeping it going. I can't really go any faster. Ah, oh, Hero, do you feel the fire of creation igniting your heart? No, but it's getting very cool looking. Do you feel the sun's power surging through your bones? Brace yourself. One final touch should uh, stabilize it. I'm going in. Whoa, 
Well, ah, almost there. Ah, very dramatic. <sighs> we, we did it. We did it. The transformation is complete. From ashes and sweat, we have made our mark upon the world. What is it? What is it? Is it a magic sword? Oh, oh, is it a laser one? A power ring? A key to the underworld? Better than that, by a landslide. It's a historical landmark. Have a look for yourself. You have earned this noble tool. It's an axe. A paleolithic tool. Uh, it's a rock attached to a stick with a piece of string and some lines on it. I guess... Is this it? Don't you see, dude? This isn't just a rock and a stick. It's transformative. The footsteps of engineers of old. We forgot the foremother of all tools from nothing but the Earth's bounty. It must be a millennia, even hundreds of millennia by now since our two very distinct lineages united under this exact goal. Unless you count the Neolithic and pa Paleolithic period as indistinct, in which case... Ah, no more law. Please, no more. Ha, huh, suit yourself. Well, that wraps up my project for today. I'll head to the playground as soon as the other paragons have finished. Are you sure you don't want to hang around in here all about... Nope, thanks for the rock. See you there, bye. <laughs> yeah, I think he's a little bit done. I have your triangle. I'm back, Jean. Is this the yellow triangle you wanted? I had to fight my way through an entire forest, but I got it. Oh, yes, it is. But, um, well, about that. Hi, dude. Check out all the cool stuff I just brought. I, it was going to cost me a bunch of apples, but I don't know what uh, a bushel is, so I haggled it down to two apples. What? Jean? Uh, it's, um, well, you were taking a while to find the last lunch, and I was getting very hungry, so I got a bit desperate. Oops. You can't just sell the whole shop while I'm doing your heroic service. No, of course not. That's very bad form. Oh, this is quite the pickle. Wait. Dude, do, do, did you want to buy some of this stuff? I was supposed to get one of the... Qu uh, one as a quest reward, but... Okay, let's haggle for it. Haggle? Oh, well. Let's see. Um. Uh, Esme will want the grass for the ritual. Shiny beads for... A perfect for Andromeda. I was going to use this with Frisbee as a serving platter, but... I can part with it. What do you want for it? Well, I've been looking for something to be the signature dish, the focal point of my restaurant idea. Something that sits neatly on a plate, but upright enough to be seen from an audience angle. Something brightly colored to contrast the dark cutthroat world of the comp uh, competition cooking. Something that projects both opulence and scarcity. Something like, I don't know, a half a cheese sandwich. But who only finishes half of such a delicacy? Seriously? Yeah. I have that. You do? Yep. Let's trade. Deal. Finally, I got this really fancy looking big plate. Man, buttering is easy. Uh, so you won't have a fancy plate to put your sandwich on. What do you mean? Oh dang, you're right. That's okay. With my battering skills, pretty soon I'll be rolling in plates. Haha, <laughs> you'll have your own plate mobile. Away I go to my amazing plate uh, patent pending plate mobile. Bye, dude. Bye. Well, that was fortuitous. You got off the hook easy. I hope you learned not to make promises like that next time. Absolutely. From now on, I'll never. Uh, I'm, I'm never doing business on an empty stomach. I guess this means the research project is cancelled, huh? Heavens no. This kind of data is indispensable. What? To witness an exchange of goods completely outside of my influence was inspiring. If I can convert the raw materials lying around into more goods, I can stimulate even more such trades. So you get at making things, how about a business partnership? Ah! Um, 
Uh, I nearly forgot to tell you that item I traded you is cursed. What? Jin, after all that, it's cursed? I'm afraid so. For despite appearances, that platter is not microwave safe. Hmm? Ah. So dramatic. Very cursed. Dangerous, even. Okay, can I have my my shield back? Um, what do I want to use? I liked Big Leaf. An axe is cool, I guess. Alright, now we need to figure out where this bug is. Maybe it's around in here somewhere? Um... Let's see. So they said like an, a, an old log or something, like a knocked over tree? I don't know where that would even be. I guess we'll just keep looking around. Oh, stuff to smash. Nice. Destroy. Up we go. Oh, what is this? Wait. They smash it? Whoa! Hey man, what gives? It took me forever to find that spot. Sorry, I didn't know anyone was in there. Yeah, I was grabbing a nap. There's supposed to be some big game soon. That's happening right now at the playground. Ah, jeez. I guess I needed to wake up. I needed a wake-up call after all. Won't be needing all this extra bedding anymore. Here you go. Great. Thanks. That's what I always wanted. Hmm. Demons. Oh. A creepy bush. An upside down pot. Oh, another one. This area wasn't decorated very, uh, safely. After all, you can just destroy all the plants. Get out of here. What was that? Oops. Oh, he's a big one. Is he a boss? Maybe. Um. Oh, there's some stuff over here. Let's see. So, over here I did see some stuff I want to look at before we go any further out into the wilderness. It's like... Maybe over here? Oh. You'll never get away, bad guy. Uh, no! No, the bad guy's getting away! Um... Oh, I see him. Let's get the bug net. <gasps> there it is! That's a Hercules beetle. I have to move as little as possible so I don't scare it off. Just barely tip-tap in the direction as soft as possible. Okay. Am I moving at all? Oof, my cover is blown. Shit, I tripped. Quick, before it gets away. Get up, stop ragdolling. Wait, where did it go? Okay. Ah! Gotta catch it, gotta catch it. I'm going. Wee! Ah, I'm so close. Come on. Gotta get it. It's getting away. Oh. Oh, you cunt. Gotcha. Hey. <sighs> you got it. Whew. Whoa. Sure did. 
Thanks for the assisted. I guess if stealth fails, sprinting and flailing can be okay too. Sprinting and flailing is all I do. Hey, is your shirt a cape now? Oh yeah, it's my costume. I'd like to join your game if that's still okay. Uh, I'm more than my hobby. I like beetles, but I don't want to be the weird beetle guy. I thought I could be a hunter or something. You could totally be a hunter. Even a monster hunter if you want. Sure. If there are too many people around, I can go hunt into the wilderness for a while. Yeah, hunt some wilderness monsters. Or some ground beetles by the creek. Yeah. Wait. I might have to borrow Suzanne's shovel. Wait, but you won't want to scare some bugs out of the mud for me, would you? Oh, okay. Happy hunting. Bye. Dang it. That's all of Jill's friends. I did so much boring work. And it backfired. Every single one of them just got even more into their projects. Uh, time to tell Jill the bad news. Alright. Let's see. Hey Jill, sorry my quest was a complete failure. Quest? What quest? I was trying to get everyone to have some fun so you wouldn't have to work so hard. But it didn't work at all. Gene is like trying to inject economy e economic theory into the playground. What? Yeah, and Antone and I found this awesome beetle, but he only wants more beetles. Wait, really? I thought Suzanne was going to do something fun, but instead she made some kind of authentic paleolithic tool or something? Wow, yeah. Sorry, I couldn't... I've got to see this. Huh? She ran off. Uh, weird, I should catch up with her. Uh, hello? Hey Jill, are you alright? You ran off. Oh, sorry, Scales. It's just... I just found that everyone's project sounded so exciting. I couldn't wait to take a look. Exciting, really? You bet it was exciting. We've all had a great time playing your game. Dude, uh, and we have a lot to show for it. Absolutely we do. I wouldn't have learned half as much about trade if it weren't for them. You've been a big help. You mean you guys were having fun this whole time? I thought you only cared about school stuff. Of course our education is paramount, but as a growing mind, but a growing mind needs rest and recreation as much as study. Mental health awareness is one of the premier paragon pillars. Oh, cool. Does that mean Jill won't have to work so hard? <laughs> I suppose I got carried away worried about keeping up. If all of these star scholars can make time to play, then I can. Oh, Jill, you flatter us. Great. So, um, see you all at the playground? Count on it. Yay! We got Jill. Quest complete. Oh, that's their area? Oh, that's going to be cool to look at. Oh, yeah, let's go. Um... Well, I think we, we've done a significant amount this episode and this might be a good place to end it and then we can continue smashing and breaking things in the next video. So, I want to know, did you have any friends that were like super into anything specific where you pretty much had to try and figure out how to incorporate the things they liked into your playtime? The things you did as a group? Um, I've had friends that were super into dinosaurs, so we had to make, like, dinosaur Pokemon way before they were really even commonplace, considering when I was a kid, like, Gen 1 and Gen 2 were pretty much the only ones that existed for a lot of that. Um, so, yeah, I'm curious, what kind of things were your friends into where you had to try and learn about them just to be more open to... In being interested in those things with your friends and like did you find them interesting did you come to love those things yourself I'm really curious and yeah I'll see you in the next video I hope you have a good evening bye